using Lagrange mean value theorem show that 1 plus x less than e to the power of x less than 1 plus x e to the power of x for all x greater than 0. The solution to this is whatever function is in the middle take that one fx is e to the power of x. Now you take an interval on 0 comma x because x is greater than 0 you take any number say 5 5 is greater than 0 you take the interval 0 to 5 similarly if you take 6 or you take 9 9 greater than 0 then you take the interval 0 to 9 like this like this agar 5 lete ho greater than 0 so you take the inter interval low 0 to 5 and 0 to 9 like this now the first condition of uh, lagrange that is fx is exponential this is exponential exponential so it is cts continuous i mean to say not cts i should say continuous writing in short on you will have to write the full word continuous on 0 to x now second fx is derivable derivable on open interval 0 to x there exists a c belonging to 0 to x such that f dash c is equal to fx minus f of 0 upon x minus 0 now here here this is the lagrange statement this is the lagrange statement basically now let here 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 fx is e to the power of x so f dash x is e to the power of x again so f dash c is e to the power of c and f of 0 is e to the power of 0 is 1 and fx is fx there is no problem using this now now f dash c is e to the power of c is e to the power of x minus 1 upon x now you know c belongs to 0 to x this thing that means that means that means you need i need some space that means now that is c c is greater than 0 less than 1 now take exponential all sides e to the power of 0 let me write it here now take exponential all sides e to the power of 0 is less than e to the power of c this is x not 1 sorry less than e to the power of x now e to the power of c is this quantity and e to the power of 0 is 1 so 1 less than put this quantity here e to the power of x minus 1 upon x less than x uh, less than e to the power of x sorry less than e to the power of x less than e to the power of x cross multiply x e to the power of x minus 1 x e to the power of x add 1 on all sides 1 plus x from here uh, let me write it here yes mm, here 1 plus x e to the power of x minus 1 plus 1 adding 1 on all sides x e to the power of x plus 1 this one and this one cancels out this gives me 1 plus x e to the power of x less than 1 plus x e to the power of wait a minute 1 plus x e to the power of x so this is what is asked to prove next question next question if a and b are distinct distinct real numbers real numbers numbers show that show that there exists a c belonging to a comma b such that such that a square plus ab plus b square 
is equal to 3c square. Now, what would be my fx here? यहाँ पे fx क्या होगा? ध्यान से देखना. अब ये बोल क्या रहा है? What is it saying? Between a b there is a c such that this condition holds. Now, if you have seen in class eighth or ninth, you have seen this formula, isn't it? You have seen this formula. A cube minus B cube is equal to A minus B and A square plus AB plus B square. So this comes from, this is this part. This part of this is this. Therefore, you have to take the formula as, this is the formula ko lena padega, fx ko lena padega x cube. Because this cube ka formula sa hai. Because it's coming from the cube formula. So you take x cube. So this is the way you have to get the idea. This is a part of this formula. This is, this is a part of this formula. So you have to take fx as x cube on a comma b. Now, look, this formula is, this part is, this part is here too. And this part is, this formula is part. है. So, you have to take fx as x cube. This is the formula of the part. है. Now, let's rub all this. Let's rub all this. Let's rub all this. No need of all this now. Now you have you have a first part. Fx is a polynomial polynomial polynomial. So it's continuous. You write the full word continuous on A comma B. Second, fx is derivable on open interval a comma b on open interval a comma b. So there exists a c. Use the Lagrange theorem. There exists a c, c belonging to a comma b, such that f dash c is equal to f b minus f a upon b minus a. Now you have fx as x cube. So, so now you have fx equal to x cube. So f b is b cube and f a is a cube. f dash x is 3 x square so, f dash c is 3c square. Now, put the values of this, this and this here. So, now, let's take some space. Yes. Uh, yes, let me keep the formula here. Yeah, yes. Now, 3c square is equal to b cube minus a cube upon b minus a. b cube minus a cube is b minus a b square plus a b plus a square the upon b minus a so cancel out therefore you get 3 c square is equal to b square plus a b plus a square this was what was asked to be proved this was what was asked to be proved now next question let us take another question question using LMVT prove that prove that prove that sin x is less than x for all x greater than 0. Now now you take the function like this. You have to prove that this is sin x. You take this as uh, like this sin x minus x or you can take it in this, this way also this is your choice x minus sin x the way you want to do it this way or this way i'll do it this way you do it this way this is for your homework now first point fx is continuous on 0 to x because this is x greater than 0 second fx is derivable derivable on open interval 0 to x 
there exists a C belonging to 0 to x such that f dash C is equal to f of x minus f of 0 upon x minus 0. This is nothing but fx minus f of 0. Just a minute. fx minus f of 0 upon x. Now here, I am using this one. You will use this one and try to do it. Now, you have fx is, I have taken it sin x minus x. So, f0 is going to be sin 0 minus 0 is 0 minus 0 is 0. f dash x is cos x minus 1. So, f dash c is cos c minus 1. Now, from this, this and this, uh, using this, see what happens. See what happens now. Now, see what happens. So, cos c minus 1 is equal to sin x minus x. This minus 0, if you write, nothing, nothing happens here. This is nothing but sin x upon x by x. Don't take limit here. This is nothing to do with the limit. Now, see this thing. Cos c, any cos, you know cos c is greater than minus 1 and less than plus 1. This is the thing. This is the thing. We know this thing. We know this condition already. So, using these two sides, this two side, I can write cos c minus 1 is less than 0 using these two, this one and this one. These two conditions. I have this. Cos c minus 1 is less than 0. Cos c minus 1 is this. So, this whole quantity, this whole quantity is less than 0. Deco, cos c plus minus 1 or plus 1 ke beech mein like hai, taking these two inequalities. Ye dono ko liya gaya. Let me rub it. I have taken these two. So, cos c minus 1 is less than 0 for all c greater than 0. Now, here we have just a minute. Write down sin x minus x upon x is less than 0 implies sin x cross multiply this x here sin x minus x is less than 0 implies sin x is less than x done for all x greater than 0.